Did you know that a fire department responds to a fire every 23 seconds in the U.S.? Eight people per day lose their lives to fires, and most of those fires start at home, right in the kitchen. So today's topic is how to use a fire extinguisher. Hi, Captain Wayne Bennett here with your one and done survival tip for extinguishing fires. My favorite subject, how to put out a fire. Well, today we're gonna to teach you how to use a fire extinguisher and how invaluable this life-saving tool is to minimize risk to your family and property. It's simple to use once you know how it works. I'm not gonna make you a firefighter in the next 60 seconds, but I am going to make you more comfortable. So the first step is grab your extinguisher and check the gauge and make sure the needle is in the green. This tells us that we have a fully charged extinguisher and we're ready to go. Next, we refer to that acronym PASS. Pull the pin, aim at the base of the fire, and squeeze the handle and sweep side to side just enough to cover the items burning. Of course, don't start discharging until you're eight to 10 feet away. This is about the time you should start to fill the heat and never start discharging any closer than five feet or you're gonna blow that burning product right back on top of yourself. Here are some simple tips for kitchen stove fires. First, turn off the flame to the stove. Second, grab the lid to the pan, hold it directly in front of you and simply place it on top of the pan, which will smother the fire. Never use water on grease fires. It'll cause a steam explosion. Don't use flour that'll cause a dust explosion. And never use a dish towel. This will only add fuel to the fire if it doesn't work. For more details and information on fire extinguisher use, please visit our blog at disastersurvivalskills.com. And thanks again for watching.